Antonio and welcome to Park Bench. I'm Michelle Martinez, your host for this episode. School is out and summer is finally here. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department has some exciting events and programs happening all summer long. We have a great show for you, so let's get started. On this episode of Park Bench, we'll hear from the Natural Areas team, talk about Fit Pass, we'll tell you what fitness in the park and outdoor pools have in common, tell you why you'll want to catch the annual Bravo show at the Arneson Theater, and we'll give you some tips if you and your furry friend are visiting a dog park this summer. FitPass is back. Are you ready to take San Antonio Citywide Fitness Challenge this summer? FitPass has added new team categories, new events, and even more great activities. Travis Davey is at Pearsall Park where FitPass kicks off June 10th with the free 5K. Take it away, Travis. FitPass is a summer-long fitness and wellness scavenger hunt all across San Antonio. You have different wellness and fitness opportunities. You go and participate to earn points. FitPass 2017 makes it easy to earn points. You can pick up a passport booklet at your first event. Every time you go to an event, make sure you bring that booklet so you can get a stamp to earn points. FitPass is a little bit new this year. We have different categories of activities where you have to meet a minimum, and there are four categories where you need to attend a certain number of activities. Those are feature activities, wellness and nutrition education opportunities, fitness, and volunteer opportunities. So if you meet those minimums, you'll be eligible for some great grand prizes. The other change is a team category. You can get 10 or more people together as a team and participate for an opportunity to win a great team prize. The FitPass Dash is an exciting free 5K that's gonna take place here at beautiful Parasol Park. At the FitPass Dash kickoff on June 10th, we're gonna have fitness classes like yoga, Zumba, boot camps, CrossFit, and so much more. We're gonna have, of course, the 5K walk run. You can do a one mile walk. Uh, we're gonna have a beautiful playground, a splash pad, a skate park, a fitness challenge zone, and a whole bunch of wellness vendors so you can get a lot of information about what to expect in the upcoming FitPass program. It's free to register. You can go to iwapweb.com and sign up for free. FitPass 2017 has a lot of great opportunities for you to participate and get involved in your community this summer. You can volunteer at Animal Care Services or at the Food Bank. You can participate in fitness opportunities with Fitness in the Park, the YMCA, Joyride, San Antonio Walks, and many more. You can even take a grocery store tour at HEB and learn a lot about how to eat and shop healthy. FitPass 2017 is the fifth installment of your citywide fitness and wellness adventure. To find more information about FitPass, you can go to our website, saparksandrec.com. You can also download our app, SA Parks Fitness. Not only will it give you all the FitPass opportunities this summer, it'll also help you track your points electronically. And those points will translate into prizes at the end of the summer. You can win a bike, a Fitbit, fitness equipment, and so much more. All the prizes will be handed out at our FitPass Finale 5K on August 19th. Another free 5K you can register for now at iaapweb.com. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media.
You can register for the San Antonio Parks and Recreations programs online and reserve your spot at numerous parks, sports fields, gymnasiums, and community centers. It's quick and easy. We'll show you how. With over 240 parks, hundreds of fitness classes, and a diverse array of programs, there's something for everyone. I want to do that. To register for classes, go to saparksandrec.com and click on the recreation icon. Then click on the View and Register for Classes button. To make a reservation, click on the Parks and Facilities icon at saparksandrec.com and then click on the Start Your Reservation button. It's time to explore the fun! Follow the screens to complete payment for your reservation or registration. Explore San Antonio. Explore saparksandrec.com where you will also find plenty of information about the many free classes and programs as well as parks and facilities offered by San Antonio Parks and Recreation. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department offers hundreds of free classes every month so residents can keep fit. Classes are offered indoors and outdoors across the city and there's something for everyone. This summer, Aquazumba is back by popular demand. Let's hear more from Mike Kay. Summer's here, let's get active San Antonio. The Fitness in the Park program offers free fitness classes all over San Antonio. There's no registration required. Our classes are open to all fitness levels. Just come out, take a class, and let's get fit. We have something for everyone. We have CrossFit, yoga, circuit training, Zumba, interval training, boot camps, low impact circuit training. We really do have something for everyone. Now, Aquazoo is coming back this summer. I know everyone's excited to get out there, have a party in the pool, stay cool while you're working out. It's the perfect summer activity. So the Parks and Recreation Department wants to help you live an active and healthy lifestyle by offering all these free fitness classes throughout the city of San Antonio. Fitness classes can help you relieve some stress. Getting out in the park and working out is a great way to de-stress after a long day at work. Also, some of our participants have lost weight from coming to our fitness classes on a regular basis. So great news, if you're playing Fit Pass this summer, Fitness in the Park is gonna be your best opportunity to rack up those points. You are limited to two fitness classes a day, however, this year. The best place to find our information is at our website, saparksandrec.com, or you can get on your smartphone, download the SA Parks Fitness app, and you'll have all of our classes at your fingertips. It's summertime, let's get out and get active, San Antonio. Come join us and get fit. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. My favorite park is Phil Harburger Park. The reason I like Phil Harburger Park is because I like their bike trails. My favorite park is obviously Stable Park and I like to ride my bike there. My favorite park is Phil Harburger Park. My favorite park is Eisenhower Park, which is where we are right now, and because of the variety of trails, the variety of difficulty, and the convenience. Our favorite park is OP Schnabel Park because we love to play on the playground. My favorite park is Brackenridge Park. Our favorite park is Eisenhower Park because we love hiking on the trails. Take your dog to an off-leash dog park to bark and play in the park. Danny Jenkins is here to tell us more. <laughs> The city of San Antonio has great dog parks located all throughout the city. We have several different dog parks located in different areas. There's one downtown at Madison Park. There's two at Tom Slick Park. There's Pearsaw Park. And there's here at Hardburger Park, as well as on the northwest side of the park, 
which is Hardburger Park West. So McAllister, Panther Springs, there will be a new dog park coming to Southside Lions Park. It's going to be located directly behind the new Senior Center. In many of our dog parks, you'll find dog agility equipment. We have a great partnership with the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts to be able to actually build a lot of the equipment that you see. You'll, you'll find that that will be a, a nice feature in a lot of different dog parks. We've been putting small and large dog areas in new dog parks in the city for several years now. Dog owners love it because it gives the opportunity, maybe there's a small dog that doesn't really want to be around a big dog because he's a little scared. And it also gives the opportunity for people that want to play with all dogs, they can go to either side of the dog park. And so if small dogs like to play with big dogs, then they can go over there. Or if big dogs want to play with each other, sometimes people and dogs can just be a little intimidated with big dogs. So we try to have separate areas for dogs to play, run, and then everybody's happy. Dog parks are a good opportunity to have them off leash. Dogs need exercise just like people and they need to have the opportunity to be able to go and be with other dogs. It's important when you come to dog parks to know the rules of the dog park. At the entry to the dog parks, there's what we call mutt mitt dispensers, and it has keen little bags that you can pick up after your animal. Now remember, although they look to be biodegradable, they're not. They're something that you need to pick up and put in the garbage can. So please just make sure and dispose of the waste properly. If you bring your dog to a dog park, just make sure that the animal is either spayed or neutered or is not in heat. That's very important. Third, make sure that your dog is not aggressive. If your dog is aggressive, then please put a nuzzle on the dog or make sure and keep a leash on the dog. Exercise is still important, whether your dog is aggressive or not. And at every dog park, we have water available at the, at the entry of, of the dog parks to, to make sure that you have enough water for your dogs, keep them hydrated, just like you stay hydrated. For more information on San Antonio dog parks, please visit saparksandrec.com and you can find the information on all of our wonderful dog parks and other features throughout San Antonio. And stay connected with us on social media. make a splash for free starting June 10th when all city outdoor pools open. And if you're looking to improve your swimming skills, there's still time to register for free swimming lessons. Veronica Rodriguez is at Woodlawn Pool to tell us more. Opening weekend for our outdoor pools is going to be June 10th. Um, you can definitely go online and check our website to see our various locations of our city pools. Definitely want to invite everybody in San Antonio to come and visit our outdoor pools. It's going to be opening weekend. Right now we have our regional pools that are open for lap swim. Those pools are Woodlawn, Lady Bird Johnson, Heritage, and Lincoln. During our lap swim time we welcome adults 18 and up. And our open swim times are in the afternoon from 4 to 7. Saturdays and Sundays we are open from 1 to 7 for everyone. So when you come and visit our pools, we definitely want everybody to be in appropriate swim attire. We ask that um, babies that are not potty trained to definitely be wearing their little swim diapers and um, adults and, and children to be in a swim attire that has a lining that is appropriate for the water. When you do come out and visit our pools, we definitely want you to be safe. So we encourage um, all our visitors to apply sunblock ahead of time before you come and get into the water. 
We will take uh, breaks throughout the day for you to reapply and also so you can stay hydrated. We definitely welcome fruit and water at our pools. All our 23 outdoor pools are free of charge. We welcome everybody that's interested in staying fit and just having a good time with their friends and their family to come out and visit us. Again, we will be offering free swim lessons to anybody interested, ages four and up. We are also offering adult swim classes. So any adults out there that don't know how to swim, it's never too late to learn. Just go by the pool to see if there's any um, available spots for you to sign up for. We are also going to be participating in the world's largest swim lesson. It's going to be held June 22nd at 10 a.m. We will have various pools that you can sign up. This is just a large swim lesson. Anybody interested in coming out, any kids that don't know how to swim can definitely take advantage of this one day class. It is free. You just got to show up and sign up. We will also be offering a back to school splash bash before everybody has to go back to school. It's going to be held um, August 5th at Roosevelt Pool. For more information, definitely call the Natatorium at 210-207-3299 or check us out on the web at saparksandrec.com. The City of San Antonio wants you to know about the Oak Preservation Project, a campaign to prevent oak wilt. Oak wilt is a deadly fungal disease that can threaten all oak trees. There is no cure and methods to control and treat the disease are costly and not always guaranteed. Oak wilt can infect healthy trees through fresh cuts or exposed wounds, or through interconnected tree roots. Prevention is key to protecting your trees. Minimize pruning trees between February 1st and July 1st. This is when the oak wilt fungus is most active. Always disinfect pruning tools. Paint all cuts and wounds on oak trees within 30 minutes. Ask anyone doing tree pruning if they have a valid city-issued tree maintenance license, which is required by ordinance. Prevent new infections by cutting and removing red oaks identified with oak wilt. Don't transport unseasoned firewood from diseased red oaks. To learn more about this topic or if you suspect oak wilt in your neighborhood, please visit the following resources. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department sponsors a free summer food program at summer youth program sites, select swimming pools, and other locations. Lunch and snack are served free for ages 1 to 18. Brenda Burton oversees the program and is here to share more. Coming to the Summer Food Service Program for lunch or snack is a great way to guarantee that your kids will continue to have healthy meals throughout the summer. Our menus are kid friendly. It serves kids favorite things like pizza, chicken nuggets, we've got fish sticks, We've either introduced a new pasta dish. We have a nutritionist that works with us to help make sure that our meals are balanced. For kids to continue to eat balanced meals that have all types of options on a daily basis. The Parks and Recreation Department is certainly proud to have been involved with the Summer Food Service Program for over 35 years. We have fed generations of kids. We're proud to be doing it again this year and hopefully your family will come and join us. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. and dance in July with the Parks and Recreation Department's annual Bravo show. Mona Lisa Montgomery is here to tell us more. 
The cultural division of the Parks and Recreation Department began in 1934 with our founder, Bertha Almaguer, for whom this dance studio is named after. We now offer Spanish flamenco, Mexican folklorico, tap, ballet, jazz, hip hop, and today we have modern dance as well. Our dance program is year round. There is something for everyone. We do start at ages four, but we continue on through teens and adults, and we have senior classes as well. The cultural dance programs of the Parks and Recreation Department is the oldest municipal dance program of its kind in the entire United States. It's very unique in that we have generations of students who come to our studios and our dance programs. So one example of our legacy is the Trevino family who have several Parks and Rec kids within their family. They study dance together as a family, uh, they go around the city performing, and they just carry on this cultural heritage, this cultural legacy of their family together. Every summer, the Parks and Recreation Department produces Bravo, an evening of song and dance. This is a pre-professional program for three major programs that we sponsor. The Take Note Youth Band, the Fandango Dance Troupe, and the Ala Motion Dance Troupe. The Fandango Dance Troupe offers the Mexican folkloric and Spanish dance traditions. Ala Motion brings forward the jazz, hip hop, and modern dance traditions. And then the Take Note Youth Band is the live music that puts it all together. It brings together talented youth um, for this wonderful production, live production, in the heart of San Antonio. The amphitheater is one of its kind, for sure, and with the river flowing in front of it and barges and tourists, everybody is just happy and in a good mood. We invite all San Antonians to come downtown in the summertime to see Bravo. Opening show is July 4th, and it runs every Wednesday and Thursday through the month of July. It's a unique experience, and it's family friendly. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Get your green on! The Parks and Recreation Department invites everyone to pitch in and recycle in your city park. You'll find recycling centers in your city parks. And along our Greenway trails. Recycling centers are for plastic glass bottles and aluminum cans only. Recycling saves energy and water. It also lowers pollution. And makes our air fresher. Yay! Recycle San Antonio! This summer, explore the outdoors with fresh air, sunshine, and nature. Outdoor enthusiasts will enjoy numerous trails at several natural areas. Enjoy physical exercise while observing wildlife and learning more about South Texas native species. Robert Wren will tell you why you'll want to surround yourself with nature this summer. Uh, natural areas were established for the protection and stewardship of outstanding natural attributes of local, regional, and statewide significance. Natural areas were designed to be used in a sustainable manner for scientific research, uh, nature-based education, and aesthetic enjoyment. Unlike regular city parks, natural areas are resource-based and that protecting the natural resource is the primary purpose. Uh, users of our parks can escape from the city and enjoy nature on nature's terms with passive recreation opportunities such as hiking and nature viewing. There are currently nine natural area parks in San Antonio with over 2,000 acres of green space for park visitors to enjoy. Parks range from Medina River Natural Area on the south side to Eisenhower Park on the north side and Phil Hardberger Park in between. When planning a hike, first you want to take into account parks rules and regulations. Parks such as Friedrich Wilderness Park and Crown Ridge Canyon Natural Area are de designated nature preserves and do not allow pets, whereas parks such as Eisenhower Park and Phil Hardberger Park do allow pets. When you get to the park, verify your route on a trail map, make sure you bring plenty of sunscreen, wear proper foot attire, and bring plenty of water. We always suggest that you bring twice the amount of water that you think you may need just in case you take a wrong turn. On the south side of town, Medina River Natural Area offers visitors chances to go fishing, camping, and also nature hiking on some beautiful riparian nature trails. Just beyond Fiesta, Texas, on the northwest part of town, Crown Ridge Canyon Natural Area and Friedrich Wilderness Park allow visitors a chance to explore a thousand acres of undeveloped hill country on over 12 miles of nature trails where they may get a chance to see the federally listed endangered golden sheep warbler. On the north side of town, visitors can enjoy Eisenhower Park where they can catch views of downtown from a 1,278-foot observation tower and use six miles of nature trail. 
The park also has a mass pavilion where groups can rent it out for special events and big occasions. Just north of downtown sits Phil Hardberger Park, which has been compared with New York Central Park because of its 311 acres of green space located in the population center of San Antonio. Hardberger Park offers visitors over six miles of nature trails, basketball courts, an open field, two dog parks, and is also home to the Urban Ecology Center. This summer we have specific camp programs, starting out wild camp, where we have one to three year olds at the Urban Ecology Center and they explore nature and they also have uh, reading time and hands and movement time and exploration and we do crafts and also have healthy snacks. The Children's Vegetable Garden here at Hardberger Park is a great partnership between the Bear County Master Naturalists and also the Texas A&M Extension Service, the Phil Harburger Park Conservancy in the City of San Antonio Parks and Recreation Natural Areas. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Thanks for watching Park Bench. Be sure to explore the fun at saparksandrec.com. See you next time.